It's been four years since Duran Duran took you beyond an ordinary world. Where will they take you next? Prepare yourself for the future. We are now entering Mendeza Land. Duran Duran have never really been afraid of change and metamorphosis. Our audience has changed a great deal, but the, I mean, the funny thing is right now is that we don't know what our audience is going to be like when this comes out. If they're music lovers, they'll probably understand where we're coming from. We're shooting a video for the song Electric Barbarella, which will be the first single of our forthcoming album, Madazzaland. Electric Barbarella is uh, a song that practically was written with Ellen Van Unworth in mind to direct it. I suppose you could say in, in, in many ways it was inspired by her imagery. Um, I really do think she's one of the great uh, photographic artists of our time. I mean, in this case, Ellen heard the song, liked the song, looked at the lyric and said, well, that is a story for the video. It's in the song already. It's kind of a futuristic, sexy, uh, puppy little number. It's a simple little story about a girl that has batteries. And, um, you know, she goes a bit wrong sometimes. It's actually the most politically incorrect video we've made since Girls on Film. It is great to make something like this and then to see the end result afterwards. Barbara is, is really the one of the sources of Duran Duran. It's obviously a film made in the 60s, starring Jane Fonda, directed by Roger Vadim. The character Barbarella was throughout the film searching for a character by the name of Duran Duran. Did an Earth person give them to you, a man called Duran Duran? That's correct. Well, where is he? This, is, this really is going back to our roots. Warren Cucurulo days from 1980 to 1985, uh, you know, where the whole Duran Duran thing was so huge and, and it was so identified with the film Barbarella. Here we are saying, well, this is where it all came from. Richard Barbarella is just pure Duran Duran. It's fun and it's up and it's kind of, it's, I think it's like Duran Duran meets Blondie. This is the first up-tempo, really happy song that we've written since yeah. I've been in the band that really captures Duran Duran. While we were making the album over at Warren's house, um, I had some uh, a dental work done, actually. And in order to do it, they had to give me this intravenous sedative, which is, is not exactly an anesthetic because you remain awake but you're sedated and you're able to respond to the instructions of the surgeon. But the thing about it is that when it's finished, you can't remember, so you lose three or four hours of your life, and I'm still a bit kind of lost. He said, man, you're in the dazzle land. One day I was just scribbling away, and I, I remembered Simon's story. It was quite interesting, the idea of someone falling deep into something and not remembering. It's a dreamscape. Big Bang Generation is is, um, is one of the earliest songs that we wrote on this album. It's a song that, that endured throughout all the different changes we went through. When we finally got the lyric on it, you know, it became one of the strongest tracks on the record. Who do you think you are? I think I was intimidated by the magnitude of that song because it's a real anthem and it had to have a really important important that but, but no it had, a, had to have a really true uh, sentiment for the, for the lyric and finally i found one here undergoing treatment to me is just a sort of madcap song about us really about where we are and about how yeah. how we've been treated and about how sick mentally unwell the music industry is Duran Duran in 
1997, I think, are, are as fresh as we were in 1980, uh, when we started the band. Uh, this album, the Medazzaland album, really represents our sound for the 90s in the same way that Rio did in, in the 1980s. Um, we feel it's the strongest album we've made for, for a long time. Goodbye, and thanks again for everything.